Hello, we're going to put together the Gobbit kit from Zagros Robotics to make a maze solver. Uh, what you have here is everything that comes with that we're going to need on this project, everything that comes with the Zagros kit, plus the Plulu 8 uh, QTR 8RC, uh, 8 sensor infrared line sensor, uh, the batteries, which are not with the kit, and some hand tools here. Uh, a number double zero Phillips screwdriver, a number one Phillips screwdriver in all, and we're ready to try putting this guy together. Uh, to save a little time, I've already put together, I've assembled the motors to the motor brackets, and I've soldered up the Palulu line sensor, which is just two headers. We're going to use this back one here. Uh, the Ardermoto, SparkFun Ardermoto board, we've already soldered up with the headers and the terminals. Uh, that's the SparkFun Spark Fun red board. Uh, so let me go ahead and start putting this together. Um, the way that we've decided to put this to, together is with everything will be internal. All the wiring will have it closed up, but we'll have easy access. We can pop it apart to get to. So I'm putting the uh, uh, red board in a location that isn't where the kit st has standard holes drilled, which are here. We're putting it over here and we're going to flip it inside. I've already got my holes marked and prepped. If I didn't already have them, then wherever I wanted it to be, I'd set it in place, use an awl, and just do a slight little mark on there, just a little bit. And that is just enough to get, get your screw started. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this on. And just snug them up. It doesn't take much to hold these boards on. And we could do this with double stick tape or with Velcro. Uh, the boards I just personally like to screw them on. So it goes back in the same spot every time when I take them off and put them back on. Um, now put on the Ardermoto. Just line up the pins and carefully put it on so you don't bend anything. Press it on evenly. That step is done. Go ahead and put the batteries in the battery pack. We're going to put these in ahead of time because we're going to apply this with Velcro. And the Velcro, when you squeeze this without the batteries in there, it flexes a lot. So, uh, And since I'm going to be suspending this by Velcro, I'm going to go ahead and screw this, put a retaining screw in the battery pack so it doesn't come undone. I'll go ahead and take my Velcro. Put the soft side on the battery pack is my preference. But you can just kind of do whatever you want. I'm just going to put it right down the middle. This is where squeezing this on. If the battery pack was empty, it might be a little mushy. It might break it. So, And I'm going to line this up. This top corner of the case with the corner of the unit. And flush in the back. It's kind of the happy spot for the way we've got it set up for this time, but you can check out the other photos of the, the other way we did the, uh, the PID loop and proportional loop uh, setups where we leave the Arduino and a breadboard on top. Uh, this is just a little more compact. So, okay, I'm going to screw on the line sensor. Well, first I'll actually put in the ball caster. Ball caster uh, should be a pretty snug press, and then we have an O ring just to make sure it doesn't come out. Push it all the way in. Now I'll do the line sensor. Goes up front. Two screws is really probably enough for this. I'm just gonna put in a third for good measure. Uh, and I've actually marked two before I screw this on. You can see which sensors are which. It's one, two, three through eight. Uh, when you're in the code, it's a zero through seven. So I've marked my zero and seven with a pencil mark. Just for when I'm debugging, I can kind of figure out what's going on where, make sure I don't get confused or backwards on something. Again, you don't have to go very tight on these, just snug them up. 
That's all it takes. And it holds really well. Okay, so that's on. Uh, go ahead and put the wheels on the motors, line up the flats, squeeze them on, line up the flat. Okay, now at this point you can wire it up on the, off the diagram, uh, the sensor to the board using your jumpers. It might be easier to do this first and then after you've done that then stick the motor drive the motors snap them in place with the motors facing the rear or facing the front and then wire those guys into the terminals that's where you need that's where you need the number zero or double zero is for the Ardemoto sensors or uh, terminals I'm sorry and then after you've got a wire then you can slip in this bracket is nice and open to fit around all the wiring. You can use some of the other brackets. Uh, they come with the kit. We just This one seems to be nice and accessible. And what this will allow us to do then is to be able to turn the thing inside out. Uh, you know, when it's all together, it's nice and pretty. Don't have wires going to get snagged on while we're grabbing it and doing whatever. But if we need to change the wiring or to test something or find out what's going on, we just open it up. We have access to everything right there. So. I'm going to go ahead and skip now to after the wiring so this video doesn't become too long. I'll see you there. The wiring is now done. Everything's in place. We can put the end panel on. Just snap it. And we fold it up carefully not to pull anything loose. And just make sure inside here that the wires all fit inside the bracket. Squeeze it, snaps in place. If I need to do any changes, any wiring, I just simply pull on here, fold it over, and we have full access. Fix it up, put it all back in there, make sure we don't get any wires caught, snap together, and it's ready to go. There it is. Have fun.